Hello and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. Alright, today we got this local ground fault here in the bathroom that's not properly testing. Uh, you should hit the test button once a month and test it. We hit the test button, it doesn't kick out, so we're going to show you how to replace it. Alright, for our new GFI, Pass and Seymour is the brand we went with. It's a 15 amp, that's what's in the wall, that's what we're replacing. Uh, this one also has the 20 year life LED bulb built in for a nightlight. Uh, so you don't have to lose an outlet to a nightlight. And by national electrical code, in residential installations, it needs to be tamper resistant. Also by national electrical code, it requires that these ground faults be in your kitchen, bathroom, and any outdoor outlet you have. So first we'll go shut the breaker off. If you're not sure which one it is, use your 110 volt meter. Put it in there. Make sure you have no power. We don't. So we'll go ahead and start taking it apart. Once you have the breaker off, we can go ahead and remove the two screws that hold the cover plate to the outlet. Now once you have those two screws removed, you can remove the cover. And then next we'll remove these two screws so we can remove the outlet from the box. So we have our GFI pulled out, separated out the wires. As you can see, this one has five wires going to it. Um, we have the black and white here on the bottom under line terminals. That is our power coming in close to the ground. We have our ground wire. We also have a black and white up here under load. Now what that means is if this were to trip, whatever power is being supplied out of it and supplying another outlet would also be tripped. Uh, we happen to know that this bathroom is an exterior wall and it has an outlet out there for the porch. So that is what it's protecting. So this outlet is wired correctly. Um, if your GFI kicks out and your lights go out, this might be your light circuit and you might want to move it to the line. That way if the GFI kicks you still have lights in the bathroom. So since this one is wired properly we're just going to move wire to wire. A load to a load, a line to a line. The silver screws are for your common or white wires. The gold colored screws are for your black or power wires. So we're just going to move them over wire to wire to the new one. So we have our new GFI connected. All the wires are connected. We'll just give each wire a pull just to make sure they're properly secure. Um, since this is an older house and has a metal box, we're going to take an electrical tape. We will tape over the terminals under the screw, tape over the other terminals, make one loop around just to make sure in case the outlet becomes loose, it can't arc out on the metal box. So when you're almost done finishing tightening the two screws that hold the outlet into the box, you want to make sure you center it. With those two screws tight, you can go ahead and install the cover plate. Um, what's nice about this Pass and Seymour is it actually gives you a brand new cover with it when you buy it. So we'll go ahead and install the cover, putting the two screws in, tightening them up. Um, if for some reason this cover isn't big enough, they do make oversized plates in case yours was damaged, or you could use your old, old plate if it was an oversized one. So with the plate installed, we'll go ahead and restore the electricity to it by turning on the breaker. Alright, so we restored power by turning on the breaker. We'll come upstairs, press in the reset button. We'll make sure the reset button stays in and the red light goes out. So far it's functioning correctly. We'll go ahead and press the test button here. Make sure the reset button pops out and the red light comes on, which it does. So this GFI is now functioning correctly since we replaced it with a new one. Uh, you want to test these things monthly just to make sure they're functioning properly. That way no one gets hurt. Uh, that's it. We just showed you how to replace your local GFI outlet in your bathroom, kitchen, or outdoor outlet. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuy.net.